Hi, I'm Suzanne Raja. And I'm Satyan Raja. And I get this question from men often, and that is, I'm attracted to other women, and yet I love my woman deeply. What do I do? You see, one of the things you have to accept as a man is that you have a mammalian body. You're a guy, you're a man, you're a mammal, and mammals are meant to procreate like nature intended us to, and our mammalian body is attracted to many women. In fact, millions of women, probably most women. Ladies, you hearing this? Okay, that means your guy too, okay? Doesn't mean your guy is exempt from this. All guys feel this. And it's not a bad thing. It is actually just nature. It's nature at work. It's the way that butterflies fly through the air and you notice it all of a sudden, or the rainbow is there, and all of a sudden there's a rainbow after the rain. It's as simple as that. So just really get that it's a natural way of life. It's just life presenting itself. And life in the greatest form is in the feminine form and there's many aspects of life out there guys what you want to not do is knock yourself down there's a lot of moral religious ideas out there that crush our desire for attraction with women and for some good reasons and that is so that we're not just going out there and having a heyday and breaking a lot of hearts and causing a lot of havoc so there's some value in having that type of suppression but you know at the end of the day we suppress our energy we put this moral you know press down and we feel bad about ourselves that's what a lot of guys report that's not the way to go to beat yourself up the first thing is to accept yourself as a man as a man with virility, as a man with desire and joy for women and the appreciation of women and the appreciation of beauty and their curves, their lusciousness, their radiance, their natural juiciness. You can't not be attracted to it. And if you're not, that's something to really look at. Guys, you're alive. You're simply alive. And there's nothing, nothing wrong with it. It just means you're alive enough to notice. You're alive enough to behold what life brings. Now, when you see other women, rather than sticking out your tongue like this, whether you're doing it internally, whether you're doing it in your mind, whether you're you know, doing externally, hopefully you're not doing it externally. If you are, stop retract back that tongue it's something that we don't want because that's totally offensive and you know disrespectful to women and it doesn't touch them it doesn't open them what you want to do is notice them breathe them if you're walking in a mall and there's beautiful women around just notice them with your peripheral vision you're noticing them in any way Notice the tickle that they create in your body, the sensual evocation, that tantalization, that sexual urge, that lift you get. And rather than just sticking out your tongue at them or getting, you know, like grabby with them. Insta or following them, following them off in some direction. I mean, it's great to notice, but if you go off in that, it's what you do with this natural opening this natural something that's coming from you it's what you do that's so important and that's why what you're saying is really key so appreciate the beauty of women inside say i appreciate you inside your mind i appreciate your beauty young beauty middle-aged beauty older beauty there's a whole spectrum of beautiful women and they all have their own uniqueness you see as men we're not really attracted to a better woman. So I have an amazing wife here and there's many beautiful women, but my sexual intention only goes to my beloved. I take that dedication of my sexual energy, of my attraction, and rather than spray it all over like a water hose, which has no direction, I bring my sexuality only to my beloved so that it grows our intimacy it grows our passion and it's not leaking because when it's leaking guess what you're in for a road that's full of suffering and you're in for a road that's full of um, facing the fact that you're still a boy inside so you want to connect with the man inside of yourself the adult and you want to bring your intention there and inside your mind say I appreciate your beauty I appreciate your beauty and recognize ladies that men when they're attracted to other women it's not because those women are better than you 
They're just attracted to different flavors, different energies, different spectrums. Some women are, women are more genteel, soft. Some are more hot, spicy, warm, and evocative. Some are more wild. Whatever energy that your own woman perhaps has less of or is not animating more of, that's the energy that you will naturally be drawn to. Just don't walk down that line with them. Just recognize, ah, there's that beautiful essence over there. Appreciate it. Let your body be filled with that energy so you breathe deeper when you see an attractive woman. You allow that tantalization to fill your body so that your spine becomes stronger, your presence becomes stronger. And then, here's the key, real powerful key. You take that energy that you receive from that beautiful woman and you bring it to your own woman. Mm. You take that passion, that thing that's been evoked, and then rather than follow your imagination that way, you bring it to her. Mm. You direct it to her. Because guess what? Your own woman has the whole spectrum of light energy all the way to dark, sexy, passionate energy. And it's a type of dedication which she will feel. That's, that's so true. That is so true. And I'm so glad you said that to the men because really men, you know, I, I want you to feel from my heart that whatever it is that, that you feel, if you use what you feel in a way like this, then what will happen is it will strengthen your mission in life. It will strengthen your purpose in life. It will keep you in line if you bring your energy back to the point of where you're going. But be aware of life. Be Have an awareness going on because that awareness, rather than turning away, that awareness will also affect you in your business. In your business life, having an awareness of everything that's going on is, is, is a, a very high quality to have as a man. Ladies, listen to this. Also for you, this is a gift, absolute gift. Because what happens is when he notices another feminine, another, another woman, it's like, it's like going to a flower store and saying, that's it, I will only look at roses, I will not look at the lilies, I will not even smell what's over there. I will have nothing to do with that. Come on. When you go into a garden, you want to inhale everything and you want to see all the colors and you want to experience all the textures. It's simply what it is. And so when he goes into the garden of life and the gardens present themselves as different women, different shapes, sizes, colors, textures, it's alive. Life is alive. And what you can do with this is when he his attention goes to someone instead of resisting and getting all tight all up uh, about that and jealous and jealous what jealousy indicates is that you're holding back from something that you could be bringing and she is that very key to what it is you're holding back yes really listen to that what Satyan said was that we have the full spectrum within us. And when he has turned and seen something over there, what's happening is you're not eliciting that in yourself. You're not bringing that to the fore. And this woman can teach you if you're willing to learn. And what you do is you as well drink her in. Watch his eyes go towards that woman. And you bless her. And it you could say, be on a movie you know, screen, right? It could be on a movie could screen. could be an actress in a movie, in a, in oh, a TV show. You know, it's, what she's doing for you is she's allowing you to see that part in you that hasn't been elicited enough. And what you can do is learn from her. Is it the way that she holds herself? Is it the way that she's spicy? Or is she cooling in energy? Is she soft and genteel? Maybe that piece actually pretty sure that there's that piece in you that hasn't been magnified that hasn't been brought to the floor like it can and so use her as a teacher and in that bring that into yourself allow that part in you to come alive and bring that to your man give him what he's looking for just bring that flower to him and say here beloved look at this and in your mind and in your heart, thank her. Thank her for bringing this to your attention and to his. You know what? 
live your life together as one and enjoy. So that's enjoy. how you ignite passion now.